Let's get right into the news. I tried. My beard isn't as nice, though. Skip it up and that up. Oh, man, I get to talk about some Internet beef, and I know I do this occasionally from time to time. I don't cover every story like the whole Susie Lou crap. I didn't care about it. I just don't care. Uh, another YouTuber abusing the copyright system. Oh, no, we haven't been down that road before. Now, if it was someone more so directly related to the gaming community, I would have spoke up. But it, it's a dime a dozen now that there is a YouTuber that abuses the copyright system and, and basically has no kind of repercussions for it, especially now with the pandemic going on. Yeah, there's not as much actual staff at YouTube, so people can get away with it even more. Yay. Uh, I love this platform sometimes. But anyway, there has been drama on YouTube between H3H3 Productions and Keemstar. And yeah, I got some interesting things to say about it. And I don't think Keemstar is the complete arch villain in this like everyone's trying to make him out to be why am i still getting hate so yesterday probably because he's quarantined and bored and can't get as many people on his podcast ethan from h3h3 productions put up content nuke keemstar and okay yes keemstar has done plenty of dumb crap but it's 99.9 percent .9 of stuff that we've heard before i don't know how this was damning I don't get it. Like, literally, Ethan talks about how Keemstar falsely accused the wrong man uh, of trying to go after an underage girl. I got to be as vague about that as possible on here. And it was misinformation, which Keemstar did immediately come out with and say that it was misinformation. Like, we knew about all this stuff. We, we knew about everything. Ethan then goes on to bring up stuff about FouseyTube that Keemstar said and Bashiaverse. A again, not exonerating Keemstar from any of these th these things in the slightest, but file it under something we've heard about, I don't know, six billion times before. It, it, it's just a bunch of regurgitation. And the thing that bothered me the most about Ethan's video was that he took a big chunk of it to use Etika against him. Etika was the huge live streamer. I actually corresponded with him outside of YouTube. He was a really good guy. And he took his own life last year. And Ethan just kind of used that whole situation to make Keemstar seem even more evil. Now, did Keemstar have dumb takes when he had Etika on his show? And some of the stuff he said was stupid ways to word it. And would I have done that? No. But do I think that Keemstar is the reason that Etika ended his life? No, no, I don't. As a matter of fact, Etika's ex-girlfriend and Etika's mother also don't think this. This is what Alice had to say on Twitter yesterday. Really sad to see people blaming Keemstar again. He was in no way responsible for Etika's actions. Let's think about it some more. One of Etika's goals was to be on drama alert because he respected that man. They were friendly behind the scenes. Desmond was actually unwell, sick. I know he helped attract a lot of negative attention. It's just really hard to explain to Desmond's fans that our boy was literally mentally unwell that the reason for it goes much deeper than cyberbullying. it's just really hard to do because he's not here to defend himself so in short i understand that Keem's past makes it really hard for others to change that opinion so don't go thinking i'm trying to make a divide between those who like and unlike him this is just my take on the situation this is the most difficult conversation to have please don't think i'm trying to absolve Keem of the wild he said and as a matter of fact, Etika's mother got in contact with Keemstar, and I'm pretty sure I don't see it on Alice's Twitter profile now, but she actually reposted this on her Twitter profile to verify it. Etika's mom got in touch with Keemstar. This is a few days after his passing, and this is what she had to say to Keem. Hello, Keemstar. 
This is Etika's mother responding to you to address the recent threats and accusations you've received in relation to his death. I wish to inform Etika's fans, friends, and viewers that Keemstar is not responsible for Etika's passing and should not be held accountable for my son's actions. Etika loved Keemstar's show and wanted to make his appearance on the program both memorable and exciting. My son's goal was to make the segment as dramatic and entertaining as possible, not to use it as a vehicle of hatred towards the show shows host and creator spread love and goodwill instead of passing judgment what's truly needed is a much better platform supporting mental health awareness throughout the world please build up your online community with kindness instead of recklessly breaking each other down in god we trust we will take out these blessings we send out to you that supposedly i do believe it because like i said alice pika actually posted on her twitter as well was from Etika's mom to Keemstar. Now, Keemstar just posted a video in response to H3H3, which is funny. I was about to make this video. Then I'm like, oh, crap, I need to watch that first. He just posted it. Where he adds more context to the back and forth between Etika. Now, look, Keemstar has said very dumb things countless times, and he has pissed me off many times. He, he still... I believe strongly dislikes me. I can't tell if it's an act that he dislikes me or he genuinely does. If he does, look, I could still be objective even if someone dislikes me. I'm not just going to paint them in a negative light because they think I'm a turd. But when you're at the point that Etika was, this is why people need to take mental health seriously. I don't think I, I'm almost positive. I'm, I'm 100% positive. Let me, let me put it out there. Let me be very strong with that that I think Etika's untimely deny, demise by him taking his own life would have happened guaranteed anyway. It would have happened anyway, even if he didn't have that interview with Keemstar. In, in a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the last video that Etika made before he took his own life, he shouts out Keemstar. Has Keemstar done terrible things? Yes. Has he made stupid mistakes? Yes. Has he said dumb, racist things? Yes. Has he pissed off many people including me yes but what ethan did like let Etika let the man rest man Th that was just too and to solely blame mental health is complicated mental illness is complicated and and to sit there and solely put the weight on keemstar's shoulders is just you it's just a cheap move for sensationalism because and look whatever the case may be with payday to and and the payment you got from them which look it is legitimate i get that ethan even had on almar listo the global brand director from starbreeze studios that's the best i could get his name out i i, I just keep fumbling it and he said, look, the money was 100% meant for H3H3 productions. There, there was no fraud with any of that. And, and to be honest with you, I, I got to agree with the quartering here. Ethan could have made this video 10 minutes. He could have made it 10 minutes long, talked about the whole thing with Starbreeze, took a couple little pot shots at Keem and moved on with his day. But what bothers me even more as a person who this has happened with before is that he went ethan went after keemstar sponsors and that's like the number one golden content creator rule man you don't do that he hinted a couple times in the video and i know ethan sometimes could be strike happy so i'm not going to show it like hey uh g fuel I, I guess you, li you like sponsoring somebody who accuses someone of being a pedo. I guess you like sponsoring somebody, blah, 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 this and that. Like he was really pushing, really pushing G Fuel. Like, hey, you know, I'm pressuring you now. Even though G Fuel, everything is in, in this video about Keemstar has been wildly public for a long time. And if G Fuel didn't know about these things they need to do better research this is what drives me nuts with with first off with content creators or anybody who who puts pressure on a sponsor to drop somebody i can't stand that that is that is so low let the sponsor choose who they want to sponsor and what drives me nuts about sponsors too this is something that's happened to me now look according to keemstar his video he just came out with he called up g fuel and said let's break ties i don't know if i believe that could very well be true 
I know Keemstar has a ton of money. He won't be on the street with Algae, if you will. But I just find it kind of, I, I personally wouldn't call a sponsor and be like, please drop me, please drop me. But maybe that's, that, that's what happened. But what, what's happened to me in the past before, I've had a sponsor. I won't name them. Old stupid me used to name them and throw them under the bus, which was unprofessional. Where a single troll sent out a single hate mail to the sponsor. And I even proved unequivocally that it was a troll. I said, look, here's the information. Here's this. Here's that. It proves that it, it proved that he was a troll. The name, the, the sentence structure, without a doubt, it was like a copy and paste that he he's done it to a couple others, but they didn't back down. And they were like, yeah, no, 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 no. We, 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 everyone must love every single content creator we work with. If there's one person that dislikes them, we, we run away and, and we run away and cower in a corner. And here, here's the thing I have to say to sponsors. If you're online, if you are a presence online, whether you have a hundred subscribers or a hundred million, you're going to have the, the person, the creator is going to have people that dislike them that are going to, they're going to be losers that have nothing else better to do than to go after that person's livelihood. You have to accept that. Look, I know it's a gray area. If someone goes and, and beats their wife or something after you make a sponsorship deal with them, yeah, I would drop them too. Like, it's not just black and white. Or if, you know, I'm not saying Subway should take back Jared Fogel. But th the thing where everyone's a hair trigger from dropping everybody is so crappy. And Ethan, you broke the number one rule. Now, look, if this was all new information about Keemstar and we didn't know about it before and G Fuel didn't know about it before. OK, that's a little different. But man, you were pushing in that video. You kept on pushing to try to get G Fuel to drop him. And guess what? Whether it be Keemstar making the call or G Fuel making the call to Keemstar, you won, you won, and you're going to have a lot of people dislike you now, Ethan, because that's like the worst and shadiest thing you could do because content creators know now that everyone is a hair. All these sponsors are like walking on eggs, walking on eggs to drop people because they're so afraid of losing an audience that could possibly make them money. Look, I'll end this video with this too. Why do you think guys like Ethan and Keemstar, they do these back and forth. Why do you think there was a boxing match between Logan Paul and KSI? Is people eat this up. They eat it up. It gets views. It's the reason why most network television now is reality shows like Big Brother, My 600 Pound Life, 90 Day Fiance. People love conflict. They love drama. It's the same reason why there were at the Colosseum, cathedrals, at the Colosseum back in Roman times, they used to have gladiators. People love seeing people chew each other's faces off, man. And this is also big business for Ethan and Keem. I'm not saying that I could see Keemstar's genuinely pissed off in his video. I'm not saying that, it, that there isn't genuine anger there. But also, man, this is going to get a ton of views for both of them, too. And cha-ching, more followers, more money. And I'm sure Keemstar will find another sponsorship deal. But the way that Ethan went about, about this, look, I'm not agreeing. There's plenty of things that Keemstar has done in his past before that I think were flat out wrong and shady. But Ethan, you blew it with this one. You, you bullied his sponsors. You, you brought Etika in this. Just let that man rest. And, and you pushed that. You put way too much in the video regarding Etika. And it was just really crappy. And you kind of did. Keemstar is right. You kind of did the same thing to Fousey Tube too when he was mentally unwell. Not saying Fousey Tube's a good guy, but I thought you're saying you don't like people being bullies. You've, you've been a bully plenty of times yourself, too. Just saying. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.